Hey guys, it is I, Sean, the American in Krakow, riding his motorcycle. Again, not riding his motorcycle. I just wanted to do this quick little video to follow up on the one I just posted. Uh, the one where I went on a little bit of a rant regarding my service center at my dealership. So I recorded that video about three, four, yeah, about four days ago. It was the day after I went to the service center. So I wasn't even fully upset anymore. I was kind of a bit calmed down at that point, but still a little upset. This is not a retraction video by any means. If actually, I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail about some of the things we found after that video. So at some point after that video, probably about two days after that, I made it to my buddy's shop and Adam and I, you know, he, Adam put the bike up on the lift and we started taking a look. Um, number one thing, the oil leak. We wanted to see if it was still leaking oil. There was oil everywhere. Actually, it still looked exactly like the uh, thumbnail from the previous video. So we're like, oh, it's still leaking. Maybe not. Let's clean it up and have a look. So, you know, we weren't too crazy about it. I was upset. I, I did think the worst, to be honest. Adam calmed me down and he said, let's clean it up. Let's ride it for a few days and let's see. Made sense. So he cleaned it up. While we were there, I said, you know, let's check to make sure that they put the bolts back to spec because it is the dealership. I would assume them to do that, but let's just check anyway. So spec on those bolts are 20 Newton meters, 15 foot pound. So we took the torque wrench, adjusted it to 20 Newton meters, gave it a little push, click, second bolt, click. Oh, okay. With spec. Well, let's just make sure. Let's kick it up to 25. Click, click, no movement. Ooh, okay, a little over spec. 30, 35, 40, still no movement. So we are now double the torque spec by Indian on those bolts. I asked Adam to stop because the last thing I need to do is rip the threads out of my oil, my, the, the bottom of my engine, actually. I was going to say oil pan. Sorry. So I said, let's stop. Stop right there. It's, it's too high, and I don't want to know anymore. So this made me very upset. We then took a quick look around. Oh, the chain adjuster, the tension adjuster for the, you know, on that rear axle, there's the bolt that you adjust to move the axle. And then there's a lock nut that prevents that from moving after you tighten everything down. It's a precautionary thing. It's not critical because the axle is locked down. You know, you, lock, you tighten up the axle anyway, but it's still there for a reason. Completely loose on the left side. It was just spinning. So, oh, that means maybe they messed with my chain. And again, I was complaining about the bike not feeling right. So we check that. Now, I had specifically told them not to touch the chain because they said it was loose. And I told them it wasn't because we had just put new tires on the bike a month ago. And while putting those tires on, we adjusted the tension on the chain to the spec by Indian, which I believe is 33 to 40 millimeters of travel, like travel up, when you apply about 10 pounds of force to the chain. Let's check. Let's see what's on the chain. 20 millimeter. It was way too tight. Way too tight. I'm not a small guy. So that makes it even worse. It was really tight when I got on the bike, which is why it was feeling funny when I rode it. So we adjusted the chain back to where we thought was acceptable, 37 millimeter. You know, we didn't go to the minimum. I'm a bigger guy, need a little extra in there. We went to 37. So we put it back to where we had it. Turns out they also took the rear brake pads out, even though I told them they were fine but at least that was adjusted properly. 
But I'm, I mean, between the clutch being adjusted and not telling me, over tensioning my chain, which could end up in a serious problem. I mean, it was 20 mil, 33 is the minimum. And the range they give you is 13 mil. So 33 to 40, not even, I'm sorry, 33 to 40, seven mil. They were at 20, 13 mil too tight. It, it was just over, the entire thing was over. It was just overly upsetting. Thankfully, I was there with Adam. He kept me calm. We got over it. He cleaned up the bottom of the, the, the engine. You know, he took some uh, degreaser and really gave it a good clean. And then I made it back a few days later just to check in on it, and it was not leaking. So at least that. But I don't think torquing the drain bolts to double the factory spec is an acceptable manner to stop an oil leak. But, you know, maybe it's just me. So again, I am so glad that my warranty will expire beginning of the year, or not the beginning, but somewhere in the middle of the season next year. I don't believe I will need any other service from them before that. And after that, I don't, I don't need to go there anymore. Again, don't get me wrong, I love the sales side of that dealership. The guys that work there are awesome. I would highly recommend anybody to go there and buy a bike. But that service, <sighs> I'm struggling to not say anything worse than what, everything, what I've already said. Anyway, that is it. That's just me giving the quick follow-up. Um, I'm probably just gonna go out and ride and clear my head a little bit. But I want to say thank you again for joining. Please subscribe, please hit a like. Uh, follow me on Instagram yeah, if, you, if you can. Uh, I think on the outro, I'll have my Instagram handle. And again, just wishing you guys a great day. Peace.